Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, welcome back to Caesar 3 and we are on part 3 of Massilia, the final peaceful campaign mission, uh, so, or the second to last mission we're doing in this playthrough. And we're doing the Gradient City in the last part. We've gotten Grand Insule. In this part, we're gonna finish off the 12 types of housing that we're gonna have and move on to villas and luxury palaces. So we've got a lot of work to do. So let's go ahead and get things started. All right, guys, welcome back to Caesar 3. Look at that, Grand Insule is all set up. Now, Governor Julio in chat actually suggested I, I could build villas right here and su supply wine from the outside. But I don't think I'm gonna do that. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slow the game down just so I can get things going right. So over here, I'm just gonna start setting up everything we need. So I'm gonna shift these over first. Prefecture, engineers post, and we're gonna get a gatehouse there, a gatehouse there, a gatehouse there, we're gonna have to hook up these two areas, right? So that we can start feeding there and there. Now this is kind of a bit of a walk to the granary. So I'm just gonna double up on the markets because I want to, uh, and it's gonna be more efficient. But also over on this side, so we're gonna have small insulate, medium insulate, large insulate, and grand insulate. So the large insulate are gonna need... Can I put it there? I'm gonna put it there. These guys are gonna need oil. So I'm gonna set a warehouse here to getting oil. And I'm also gonna use these to get both furniture and pottery because we're gonna need to get quite a bit of it. And uh, wages have increased, and have I forgotten? No, I just don't have enough. So wages went up by how much? By quite a bit. Rome pays 35. We want to pay 8 above. Okay. How are people feeling? People are pleased with me? Okay. And I'm gonna just go ahead and start producing a little bit of furniture here, right? Just like that. Uh, and since we are gonna be getting more furniture, pottery and oil, we need to change how much we're exporting. Pottery needs to go up by eight. Furniture needs to go up by eight. And uh, oil needs to go up by eight. Okay. So that should get along quite nicely. Now, what do these guys need? Uh, do they have theaters yet? No, so theater, theater. I deleted a temple to Mars. So let me replace that Mars temple there. Do they have schools yet? Not yet. School, school. Uh, do these guys need libraries? What the... the that needs a library to evolve, so these guys will need a library. Are we taxing people? Not yet. Let's tax and tax. Are we taxing here? Are we not taxing this block? Commerce, tax income. Oh, okay, we're not... I'm taxing everyone else. <laughs> Let's make sure we tax these blocks, because that's going to be worth quite a bit. So these blocks should evolve pretty quick. Do they need anything else? We don't even have any actors guilds or gladiator schools here, right? Entertainment, amphitheater, but it still counts. It still counts. Do we just never need to build those ever at all? Unless we're using Destination Walker. But anyway, there's all the food. Food's gonna evolve quite... Well, evolve all of this quite quickly. Let me just make sure they all evolve properly. Uh, we're gonna need to get more pottery down here. Getting pottery, getting pottery, that's good. There's... Okay. Okay, okay. These two granaries have filled up, so that's quite significant. These are all immediately hitting small casas. That's good. Do they need anything else? I don't think so, right?
Is the guy getting oil? Can't see him. There should be one guy either... Oh, there he is. He's all, already on the way back. Okay, so oil's gonna come back here. Pottery's down there. Furniture. We're gonna produce a little furniture. I'm not sure if I should produce more. I could. Hmm. I should use blockers to make sure my large insulate merge up properly. That's a good point. Are they gonna evolve properly? They might not. They might not. Um, I'm gonna break that. Let's just do this, yeah? If I do that, these three should evolve appropriately, but to guarantee it, I'll put a statue there. So that will evolve there, that will evolve there, that will take up that space later. These three should be fine. Okay, okay. What is the theme of blocks this time? The Gradient City. So, it's not so much the block design, but we need to have one, at least every type of house available in the game. Why did that just... Too li Wait, that's supposed to be a small hovel. Did you see that just devolve? Some people moved out. Did those evolve because my entertainment value went higher? Citywide entertainment. Oh. Oh. That might be a problem. So for our culture rating, I'm gonna have to try hit everything else first. Because if our entertainment value gets too high, these houses actually evolve. But would these evolve if our education... Oh, that's gonna be a little tricky. Okay, these markets... They took furniture, but they didn't take pottery? Okay, at least here's pottery. Oh, bathhouses. There we go, I forgot the bathhouses. So that should very quickly start evolving that. Meanwhile, over on this side, I gotta start uh, figuring this out. Do we have plenty of unemployment? Actually, not that much, but I'm gonna start clearing out all of this. I imported marble, so to keep the gods happy, I'm just gonna stick some oracles around, I guess. Right? Doesn't matter too much. So I placed down three oracles, so I can just get rid of all of this. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of all of this. Get rid of that doctor. Destroy all of this. That's gonna give us unemployment. Um, I guess I just leave two houses for now. Let's stop taxing these people as well. We don't need any of this in the middle. Oh, let's just put a house there. I'm gonna clear off all of this because this is gonna be where my luxury area is gonna be. Let's shorten this. Yeah. Well, to shorten the walking distance for people getting oil, I'm gonna do that. I can also move that, so I don't need this here. And the... Are we still producing way too much fish here? I think so. I can just put the shipyard here. Yeah, that'll work fine. Okay, so these houses, we've got the small insulate. Okay, what do you guys need? Um, health provisions. Ah, we don't have a doctor here. So you guys can have a doctor. Do they have oil? They don't have oil yet. 
the, this market does have oil. Gotten through the first feeding. Okay, okay. My hippodrome will make them evolve. Yeah, that's... See? They've evolved. Because of our culture rating? Or because of our entertainment rating. How do I... Ooh, that, that's a bit of a challenge. That's a bit of a challenge. Barber. That's what we need. Okay. How are the gods feeling? Displeased? Okay. We need more oracles then. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay, just need the barber to spawn here, and we should have large insulates. There he is. There we go, large insulate. Evolve that, please. Okay, then we can break that open. Okay, we got enough wine to send off. Just in time. And there we go. Now, huh. Consider using negative desirability in the southeast to devolve them. Yeah. Look, they just devolved. Too little entertainment. Perhaps if I just get rid of all of the can I can I control it with desirability? There's no way to unplaza a road. Is it, is it just this block that's gonna be a problem? I think so. Oh, it devolved too much. Let's just carefully control. We want them to be small hovels. If I put a garden here, that's a little annoying. Okay, so that's at least enough to evolve them to small hovels. <laughs> Lord Nesta says, plaza it down. Yeah, yeah, we got, we got to hold back on the plazas. Okay, hopefully that will stay. I'll keep an eye on that. Okay, but now, now, um... Is the food supply doing okay here? I think it's maintaining. We're just getting through that first feeding. The markets look pretty well stocked though. That's why. Okay. okay. So for now, that is the 12 types of housing before villas in Caesar 3. Look at that. We have the small tents, the large tents, the small shacks, the large shacks. We've got the small hovels, then the large hovels, the small casas, and the large casas. Then we have the small insulae, the medium insulae, the large insulae, and the grand insulae. All right. Would the desirability overlay help? Um, eh. Eh, it's like, eh. I mean, a little bit, we gotta keep it at like roughly the same color. M maybe later on we'll, we'll check. If those start evolving, we'll, we'll check desirability. Okay, so now we need to figure out this next bit. Uh, let's go to oil. I'm gonna shift these because I need room.
for fishing wolves, right? Okay. Um, let us... How do I make this a bit more functional? Okay, shift a couple houses there. We're gonna need a road here for fishing. We can continue to have prefecture, engineer's post, and we're gonna need a granary. Set to accepting meat, we're gonna need a granary. Set to getting wheat, because we're gonna need to have a ship bridge crossing over. And then we need to actually start using this farmland. So I'm gonna clear off some of these trees. And we're gonna need wheat farms. But first we actually need a warehouse. Farm vines. Farm wheat. Move the houses to here where we will have an intersection. Let's just keep this clean. Uh, to make sure nothing burns down. Stormy seas, okay. 20 timber, okay. Dispatched. Prefecture. Engineer's post. Farm, wheat. This is going to be accepting wheat. Uh, workshop wine. Let's increase that to shift this. Farm vines. Uh, farm fruit. Uh, we probably need at least three wheat farms here, right? Then we're gonna need probably three fruit farms. Maybe four fruit farms and four wheat farms. Prefecture. Engineer's post. So then we could actually, I'm going to clear this. So this hooks up like that. Wages increased, okay. They pay 36, I pay 44. People are pleased with me. This is gonna be a road connection. This is... gonna hold fruits, not wheat. And then I put down fishing wolves. Because we need three types of food, but some villas need two, but luxury palaces will need three, and we need to keep them separate. So I'm going to try empty this warehouse. Can I empty it? 
Cards returning from a delivery. Okay, so we actually don't need to empty. We'll just accept fruits. The wheat will stockpile there. The fish will stockpile there. The fruit we will shift to the luxury palace area. I think. I should clean everything on the island, sheeps included. Governor Julio, I like keeping things looking natural. I like keeping things looking natural. Oh, we're slaughtering here. No sign of crime around here. Mm. Illegal sheep. Gotta, gotta put them down. <laughs> okay. That looks pretty good. How are the gods feeling, by the way? I dro uh, dropped all of those. Can I throw a festival to Mars? Okay. So that looks good. Is everything else stable? That's not evolving. Good, good, good. Okay. This this looks... I mean, I know we could clean it up and decorate it better and all of that stuff, but... It looks nice, right? It looks nice. I like it. I like it. Hashtag illegal sheep. <laughs> Wait, why are there market ladies here? Oh, 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 no, no, no. Market ladies, you cannot take that stuff. Um, no, wait. Does this need a connection? That doesn't need a connection. No, what, what did you take? Did they take the wheat? Okay. Not the worst thing. Okay. Does this road connection need to exist? Oh, damn, I just knocked stuff over. <laughs> ah. Let's just move that, move that. Okay. There we go. I think, I think it's fine now? Why did I even have that road connection in the first place? Okay, now I think it's fine. This is gonna be meat. Actually, wheat closer. This is gonna be meat. Okay. Let's just double up on these because I'm concerned the granaries are gonna throw off Oh, is that actually blocking that? Oh, okay. We need to break that. Okay. So it does actually loop around. Right? The walking path should... You can walk through the gatehouse like that? Oh, when returning to... Okay. Okay, but that should work. Looks a little weird, but it's fine. Fruit stockpiling. Wheat and meat will stockpile up there. We're waiting for boats to, co to come by, okay. Oil production will continue. We'll have to turn off oil sales soon once we start using it a bit more. Or rather, I just need to set this to go up by eight more. So eight will stockpile here. <laughs> oh, we just bought olives. Okay. 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 Indigenous people attacking us. Okay. There. Okay. Okay, shouldn't be too much of a problem. Please don't destroy anything there. This prefect. Please don't destroy... Don't, come on. Come on. Ah, oh, that prefect! I'll fight to the death. This city's safe while I'm still alive. Oh, he died. Guys, he died. 
My weak granary is too far. Yeah, I know, I know. Don't, Governor Julio, don't worry. I'm all about the inefficiencies. I'm all about the inefficiencies. That's what we're about. You don't have to min-max everything. This, this, this playthrough is all about not doing things perfectly and still beating the game. <laughs> I, I know I could shift. Look, if you, if you see this at 100% at any point, the granary is too far. Right? That's the rule. That's the rule. But if it's not too, too far, it's not so bad. Yeah, it's not too, too far. The main thing is you have enough wheat. That's the important thing. Now, what is our unemployment? 10%? You know, I kind of need more houses, I think. Can I... I need a bigger population. So if I wanted to do that, could I actually do something like this? Just to boost my population. I get rid of that. Put an oracle on the back of that. Squeeze in two more houses there. You know, we can get a, a few more houses. Don't see why not. Yeah. It should be covered by water. Yeah. Okay. Money's looking okay. It's just population is a little low. I could uh, squeeze in more houses all over the place if I needed the population. But, you know, we're only at 10% unemployment and we actually need, like, to double our population, right? Target population is 8,000. Uh, but I'm okay with just dumping a big slums area if we need to. <laughs> I'm not against that. You've seen my Londinium playthrough. The rags to riches challenge. Okay. So, these food supplies seem to be doing okay. Mars sends a spirit, that's good. So now, we have all this space. How do we want to do it? We need... So we need a connected area. I guess that makes sense. We need a connected area. Which is gonna have... Oh, this is so hard to brain. How am I gonna do this? Oh, I think I... I have an idea. I have an idea. So what we need... Is we need a row of houses. Wages increased again? 39. So I need to pay 47. Okay, here, here's the idea. I'm gonna have... Can someone tell me how many levels of housing there are? For villas and above. Like from the smallest villa to luxury palaces. Can someone tell me how many there are? Not quite there, I think. I don't know if there's any invasions that come from here, but I'm gonna see what I can do. Eight. Okay. Eight. So let me do some math. So there's how many villas? Is it the small villa? Is it small, medium, large villa? Is there a grand villa? Is it four villas, four palaces? Small, medium, large, grand villa. Small, me uh, medium, large, luxury palaces. Okay. So we need... Oh, this is... I need quite a lot of space, actually. Okay. We should be able to make it work. If I just draw a straight line like that... Then we could curve it if we need to. So we have room for some services. Uh, 
And we have four villas, which are three tiles each. Okay. And then we have four luxury palaces. Four. 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 Oh, no, I'll put it on that side, I think. Maybe there instead? There. So one, two, three, four, space, space, there. Right. Medium statue. No. I think that's how I'm gonna do it. think so let's let's let those guys move in yeah so we're gonna need just a prefecture and engineers post first of all so this is gonna extend up to there prefecture engineers post by the way how is health city health is good okay Okay, let's let those move in first and see if we can control this. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to supply things from the outside. Right? We're going to supply things from the outside. So we're going to let these move in. Then we're going to get the oracles down to position things. Is this one, two, three, four? One, two, three, four. This seems difficult to control. I think these have to be on the inside. One, two, three, four. But it's gonna get very close to those, which sucks a little bit. Maybe with enough oracles and stuff, it'll still be okay. Put like the, the Senate and the, my own house and personal mansions over on this side, I think. We're gonna get the oracles to make sure everything's set up. So we're gonna go oracle, 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 oracle. Okay, that's the reference for that. Just gonna do this. Just to mirror it. Okay, okay. Then we're gonna need a reservoir somewhere around here, which we can hook up to about here. Now we're doing something very special here, so it's gonna take some very careful planning. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, just hook this up, yeah? Sure, there's a gap there. A gap there. Okay. Okay. So nothing's gonna burn down or collapse. How far do these guys walk? Probably not all the way. It's quite a long distance. Almost. Wait. Oh, they actually almost reach all the way. Okay. Okay. So fountains. Does that reach far enough? Does that hit everyone? Yes, okay. Okay. So now... Hold on, just need to brain this for a while. So we can, so two types of food, 
is definitely going to be used in all of this. So what we need to do here... Move this... Prefecture and Engineers close to the inside there, so we can break that open. We're going to need a warehouse here. So we already have the oil supply here. We need to go get pottery and some wine. And we can just have another warehouse here set to accepting furniture. Where I can put... What's... Okay. Shift that road there. Break that there. Workshop furniture. Let's not do that. I'm gonna set this to getting furniture as well, just to make sure we have enough. Raw material, timbiard, and just to supplement a little bit. Okay. And also set pottery to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Furniture to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oil is export over 24, 8, 16, 24. That's correct. Okay. So all of these require two types of food. So we can straight away put a gatehouse right there. And a gatehouse right there. And we can have two markets like that to provide those food types. Okay. So all of these are gonna need the four resources and both types of food, but services might need to differ, right? Okay. Villas at the corner are hitting each other. Also your gaps are three, three, four, four from the bottom up, is that intended? Yeah, this is gonna be, the villas are only three by three. The palaces are four by four. These two are touching each other. Oh, right. That's gonna be four. That, that can't be there. Do I just shift it? I mean, I suppose I could try to do that. But I'll, I'll just move in all of these houses for now. Okay, there should be plenty of resources. We are off to get wine. They should be off to get pottery as well. Okay, furniture and pottery up there look okay. Everything here looks stable. We got some more houses moved in. That's good. That brings in quite a few more people. Food and resources here look good. 15 units of wine. Small and medium villas are two by two. Oh right, they are. They are, I forgot about that. The first two villas are still two by two. Well, instead of moving things... There. <laughs> I'm just gonna do that, okay? The first two are two by two, okay. This, this is tricky. This is tricky. We're gonna try our best. So the wine is here. Furniture is going, pottery is going, oil, wine. So that's a four. There's the two types of food. So then it's just services. So it's one, two, three, four. A distant sit Roman city is threatened. Uh, things being on this side is gonna make things very inefficient. Average force. Okay, so we're gonna need to send probably five of these. Can I send everything? You know, four, 
four groups should be able to handle average force, right? Yeah, it's fine. Dispatched. Off they go. What happens if you delete a fort when they've been dispatched? I'm not too sure. Isn't the whole block going to get access to some requirements for the next stage? Yeah, that, that's... Um, we're gonna have external supply here. <laughs> we're gonna have external supply. But then things on this side make things a little bit more difficult. Well, things generally need to be a little... Let's just... Supply the school first. We're gonna need entertainment. Theater. Amphitheater. Library, bathhouse, barber, doctor, series, Neptune, Mercury, stick two temples around here, Mars and Venus. They all need three gods, right? Okay. The market ladies do walk up to there. This one did evolve. Okay. I might have to rearrange some of these houses, but we'll, we'll see how it goes first. Furniture is in. Okay. Are you going to get pottery? Hopefully. Um, let's just keep them evolving, and then we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Hmm. Where is the Hippodrome going to fit? Look, we use Destination Walker. We could put it wherever we like. <laughs> I just need to put the Chariot Maker up here and the Hippodrome over there, and it's fine. Are all the school children running the same way? I... Uh, in Caesar 3. Entertainment. No, Education Schools. Always schools that are a problem. It almost reaches. You know, if I just swap this and put the school there, we'll be able to combat the desirability issues. Okay, so now they need pottery. Pottery is gonna come in. What's this? Oh yeah, it's not hitting. Oh, the library doesn't reach either. Education library. So the library needs to be moved up. You know, if I have services here, they should walk both directions kind of okay. Religion, yeah, that's not going to work either. Series, you know, I'm just going to do this first. Right, okay. Uh... Bathhouse. Baths do actually... Oh, they don't. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna need to move that as well. But does that not count? Okay, so the services in the middle are probably not, you know, the best, most secure, efficient thing in the world, but... Is this getting... It is getting all the three gods. Okay, okay. okay. So waiting for the pottery. And you can go get pottery as well. 
Oh, it's, it's so far. It's so far. Okay. Oh, pottery did come on down. So they need a supply of furniture. Okay, so we got pottery, we got two types of food. Okay, okay. So that is gonna do that. Okay, okay. Uh, right, we probably should tax these people. But I've run out of room for... Alright, just do that. <laughs> okay, okay. I could provide some services to the backs of the houses. Yes, uh, the problem is the houses are on both sides. So, if I want to do certain things, it's going to take certain workarounds. Which there are, actually. Could I...? Would that be too ambitious? It might be too ambitious, but... I'll, I'll keep it for like this for now. I'm thinking of doing entertainment, having the things here, and have a road go all the way around this block to round the outside there. <laughs> one problem is, I, I actually did a mistake. I should have moved these houses one tile up. Once they start evolving, it'll be a bit better. Lib oh, the library doesn't reach. Education library. Is he ever gonna walk down that way? Okay, there we go. And we've got large insulates. Not enough entertainment. Okay, so this is where things start to get a little bit tricky. One, two, three. There's just not enough space. I should actually move these forts away. Because having houses on this side is a bit of a problem. The markets are well stocked though, so that's good. Oh, this, this is... Sorry, I'm Zack Zenning a bit. <laughs> because I, I'm just trying to figure this out. So those need entertainment. So I do need a Colosseum. Which I guess I will start doing my thing. This is why I don't recommend doing this kind of thing, okay? This is all very silly. <laughs> so you're gonna break through here, you're gonna do something like that. So then I could just break open this side a little bit and then have this road extend out as far as it can and put a lion house right there. Replace the prefecture and the engineer's post. And that is actually gonna work. Safety Queen says, Zach in thinking mode, no time to reach out. Yeah, th this is what I'm trying to do. What I'm trying to do is very complicated. Governor Julio says, I, I should build my hippodrome now. I do have 10% unemployment and lots of money. So probably I should just fit that chariot maker down, yeah? And put down the. Hippodrome, 2,500. Where does the road need to touch? The, the top left side, is it? It should be fine here, right? Okay, that's 200, 150 people, 25 people there. Okay, so there we go. The lion tamer's passing by now. <laughs> am I a Monty Python fan? Yes, yes I am. I grew up with Monty Python. Dim Jardo, yes. 
There we go, grand insulates. Now they need a supply of wine, so that's great. Desirability is an issue, so let's start by plazaing it up. Up to there first, okay. Okay, so that's all the grand insulae level. The hippodrome is functioning. We've got one charioteer heading on over. Can we get him? Oh, they like it, they like it. Jank city building tips. <laughs> this is so silly. All right, come on. We've got wine stockpiled right there. Can these markets go get wine, please? Oh, there, there they go, there they go. Grabbing the wine. Thank you very much. Okay. So, wine is coming on in. There we go. All these houses are evolving. Needs more desirability there. Are we taxing these people? Commerce, tax income? Is he hitting? Oh, he is, he is. Okay. Employees needed, look at that. Okay. Um, if that's the case, I have no qualms about extending my slums area. What is the difference between here and here? Religious facilities? I can expand that. That will evolve to that. If I just fill these gaps, it should actually be fine, right? Oh, these houses evolved again! Desirability is too high. Okay. Large shack. This is so hard to balance. Um... Is that road there? Okay. This needs to be small hovels. I will fix that later. <laughs> oh, there we go. We've got some villas and the hippodrome is working. Okay, okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. <sighs> this is so... <laughs> I do not recommend doing this at all. Okay. Uh. Oh. What is Caesar 3 graphics? Is it 2.5 graphics or what is it? It's just 2D. It's just 2D. Um, they're, they're sprites or pix... It's basically pixel art. It's basically pixel art. Okay. We're gonna bring in more people, because we are short by 51 employees. This will solve that. I don't know how these are gonna evolve. We'll look at it later. I don't know how we're gonna manage this desirability either. Some are evolving, some are not evolving. I don't know, we'll... Uh, that's just a big mess. Okay. But here... So these are now... Small villas. So, this can be a small villa. Yeah, I, I see. Having things on this side is just not gonna work very well. We can do that. So then those can be the... Oh, 5,000 people. <laughs> uh, we're getting there, but it's just... Uh... Okay, okay, let me slow this down. I think I, I have to get rid of these houses on this side of the road. Because it would just take way too much to support them. That one can stay there. Meanwhile, we can have a road coming like this. To do this temporarily. Then we have that small villa. This can be medium villa. That will be large villa and luxury villa. So I am going to need to save space doing this. So... It is worth rearranging all of this. Because we need to save space up on that side. So if I shift this and control this evolution 
to do that. And move that oracle down to here. So that will evolve into the 3x3 three three there. And I won't evolve that yet. Because I need the hospital. I'm gonna do this. If I do that... and just gatehouse that off. And just have the hospital go down for now. Right? <laughs> okay. So this will hit these two houses. So that should evolve once, yeah, yeah, it should evolve. Come on. Why did the music change? We still have 5,000 people. Okay, so there's a hospital walker, which should touch this, right? If I'm not mistaken. Really? Oh no, that, okay, it's fine, it's fine. So now that needs an academy. Okay, we just have to be very sort of specific with how we break up this area. <laughs> this is this is gonna require some micro. So this needs more desirability. Those houses are having some stability problems. You know, I'm just gonna destroy that house first. Actually, not that one. Can I undo that? No. Okay, just whatever. Ran out of furniture. Yeah, the, these market ladies aren't walking up that far. Just go to that house. That's a vacant lot. Yeah, okay. okay, so that's a small villa. This is a medium villa. This requires... So this does require the hospital. So I do need... I need the hospital to hit all of these houses, but not this house here. So what I need to do is I need to very quickly evolve that house so I can start this going. Okay, okay. And I'm going to control that because I want that to evolve down that way. How is no employees live nearby? Really? Okay, there we go. So that evolves that. Oh, what is this garden doing? That garden is doing something weird. Okay, so we got this up to large villa, and now it's a 3x3, three three. we can actually... No, why did... That is a problem. Please don't mess up quite yet. Okay. Come on, we put an oracle down. That should be enough desirability. Right? Come on. Surely that's fine. Okay, there we go. Okay. So, I'm gonna do that. So now that that's doing that... I can try control... Oh, this won't... That can't expand, because we're controlling it. So actually, we can just have the academy... The forum there. Put the academy there. That should actually 
cover enough. These two houses don't need it. And the hospital can continue along for these houses for now. Okay. So then it needs a third type of food. Okay, okay. Ah. <laughs> okay, yeah. How do people feel about me? People are pleased with me. Let's raise taxes a little bit. Okay. Okay. Putting small villas in the grand insulate block will solve part of the problem. Yeah. Yeah, it would. But I... I don't know, having villas over that side, it's a bit weird. We have 4% unemployment, so that's great. That's great. Are these houses still evolving? Stop doing that. Yeah, it's a bit of a problem. So we upped the population here. So food supplies, we gotta keep an eye on. I think it's fine, I think it's fine. These markets are still well stocked with everything, okay. So here comes the hospital walker, which should evolve this house. So we have small villa, medium villa, large villa, and then it needs a third type of food. So the third type of food is gonna require some special work here. Oh, the hospital walker stopped there, okay. So if I put a hospital here, it should solve my problem. It should. Because that... If I just do that... So I have... Let's just check. Health hospital. So we need this one to walk maximum to there. Storms, okay. Please don't walk beyond this house. Okay, perfect. It just covers those two. Yes, yes, okay. So that needs desirability. Whenever we need desirability, we just drop. Wait, I wanted to shift this. Right, so I need to break that. Place another one down. Put one there. Make sure it evolves in the right direction. There we go. have another oracle there and just put a large statue right there for now that should be enough desirability right so from here onwards we need three types of food but we are running out of space here so. Shift the fountain. I need space for four luxury palace things. Yeah, I think I definitely need to remove these over there. But for now, let's just try get our first one down. So I'm going to break this and this so that I can put a house there. Not there, let's learn our lesson. Put a house there. Okay. So from here onwards, we need to do that. We need a warehouse. Here. And a granary. There's a ghost walker there. This is going to be getting fruits. This will be getting fruits. Okay. This is so silly. This is so silly. What am I doing at this point? I need to evolve these luxury houses by providing certain ones access to certain things without providing the access to other things. Otherwise, these houses will evolve. Um, but in some cases, we can just... 
control. So this one needs a third type of food. But then after this, it's going to be okay because we can control these things with small statues. Right? We can do that to control their evolution. Okay, okay. I gotta keep in mind, we can control these houses from evolving by use of size. So this is just going to provide fruit. Okay, relief force defeated. Ah, <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. Look, it's a final mission. We gotta do like some special challenges, right? I will get this to work. I will get this to work. Look, you can do whatever you want in this game and still beat it at the highest difficulty level. I promise you. You can do dumb, dumb designs and still win. I could simply make five luxury areas for each house level. The amount of employment it would take... What is on fire? Please don't... Oh no, that's gonna cause some problems, isn't it? These tents are susceptible to flames. Okay. okay. Once people start walking over here to put out this fire, other places start to burn. See that house there? What happened was the prefect was spawning on the gatehouse and walking up that way rather than covering down here. Okay, nothing else burn, please. Look at all the prefects just gathered. And because they're there, they're not patrolling the city. Okay, I think I think we're okay. Hospital. Come back down. Okay. And I've moved. There we go. Okay, so some fruit's starting to come on down here. Yeah? That prefecture there is actually slowing the getting of fruit, so let's do that. Um, yeah, so soon this house will evolve. <laughs> we probably do need another warehouse getting fruit. But this road here cannot touch this road here because then these markets will go get fruit and it will evolve this house. And we cannot have that happening. Why aren't the fishing boats down there moving? Because we have too much fish, which reminds me, we need more people. So <laughs> I shouldn't be fishing that much. Uh, okay, that's great. Which also reminds me, I should probably cut back on farms. Right? Okay. There we go, Grand Villa. They have three types of food. So why isn't this house evolving? Is a supply of pot- How has it not got a supply of pottery? How did you get fruit? There's no way that market is close enough to touch. Is it close enough? Okay, we gotta wait for that house to run out of fruit. <laughs> okay, but it's fine. We got Grand Villas. We got Grand Villas. After this, it's gonna be a little bit easier because we can now control by size. But this is still gonna be a 4x4 four four building. So we need to control that. And then we can have a house there for sure to be there. We have that house there. So we can now break that. That's now two by two. So this is gonna be a one, two, three, four. Uh, we need to have that reach over like that first. So we can now start providing fruit in this direction. Small statue just to 
block out where these two houses are going to be touching. Okay, water does touch that. Yes, okay. So this, that needs third type of food, waiting for fruit. Okay, is this getting more fruit? No, I think that's running out of fruit. I think that road there... Oh, it's technically two tiles away. Okay. Market ladies can distribute two tiles away. Rabid Saucer, welcome to the stream. We're doing a dumb idea. This is such a dumb idea. Please never do this. But the reason why I'm doing it is to prove to you that it is possible. Okay? So, okay, there we go. This is now down to a large villa. This is maintaining fruit. This has got the three types of food. Needs a second type of wine. Okay. Someone sells wine, right? Yeah, someone sells wine. It is a land trade route. So I'm worried about money, but as long as that... Oh. We can't have this. You get pottery. Um, you... You know, let's just double up on pottery. As soon as I start importing wine, we're gonna lose a lot of money because it'll go into there. Uh, but let me just check tax income. We are taxing all of these houses, which is good. It is the end of the year. People are pleased with me, so let's raise taxes a little bit. When did Rome start paying 41? We gotta pay 49. Let's go up to 20%. So as soon as I start importing wine, this will evolve. It's such a silly system, but why did you evolve? Oh, we can't. We can't have every house. Because all it needs to evolve is a second type of wine and as soon as you start importing, gotta use negative desirability, right? In the symbol. Thank you for reminding me. We gotta use negative desirability. Okay, so we gotta take this down a notch. Destroy an oracle. Let's see if that does it. And not overdoes it. Medium palace. Medium palace. Okay. Wait, medium palaces are three by three? Me oh, I never look at medium palaces. They're three by three? Oh no. <laughs> look, maybe I'll fix this in the future or you guys are gonna die from OCD. Um, it's evolving so much. Why are you evolving so much? We have to do desirability control. Um, how do I... You just have to tweak desirability. Uh, medium palace, okay, let's break that. If I could cause that to devolve, I could... ...reset some things. Okay, that's down to a small palace. Okay, go back down, please. Ah, oh, damn. People are upset. Okay, taxes are too high. People are indifferent to you. Look, just because you're indifferent doesn't mean you can start robbing people, okay? Okay. I didn't realize... Palaces... Okay. That's a grand villa. It's gonna devolve soon again. Okay. Let's put a large statue back there. No, too much. Too much. Maybe a medium statue. Yeah? Yeah, just devolve one step. That devolved? Okay. No, medium statue is still too much. If I break that... 
This house will devolve soon. Okay, devolves one step. Come on, a medium statue's not... This house will devolve soon. Okay, we need to... Come on. Just maintain that. Okay, we need to improve desirability. Come on. Okay, there we go. Grand Villa. Okay. Uh, can't you remove the third god? At which level do they need three gods? I can't remember. Okay. So this needs desirability to evolve. You know, if I could just... We need money. We need to get over to the next year. It's January. Okay, so trade's gonna pick up now. I kind of wanna... Let's make sure this doesn't... Uh... So this is now gonna... Do that. Now that that's a 2x2. Two two. So this is a 3x3 three three for a palace. If I had more money, I would just demolish it, but it's a bit of a problem right now. Because taxes are important. Oh, save the game. That's a good point. Let us save the game. Once I finish this block, we can speed to victory, by the way. <laughs> um, kind of. But I really want to finish this block. Do I have enough? Do I? Uh, are the markets fully stocked? They are. I'm just gonna fix it. It's fine. Uh, so first, you need to evolve to the back. You're gonna do that. You're gonna become a three by three. Soldiers are back. We got the triumphal arch. That's gonna become a two by two first, up that way, giving access to the fruit, then a three by three down to this way. And that's gonna take up that space there. So it doesn't, this is definitely a four by four, right? It's gotta be a four by four. Let's convert. Let's just put an oracle here. Okay, why isn't this evolving? Desirability? Okay. We can squeeze... Okay, that's gonna evolve that. That needs more desirability. An oracle here should do it. Oh. That. You know, that's a good point. Someone mentioned before I can put walls to downgrade desirability rather than up desirability. So it's all just asking for desirability right now. So this is a small palace. So this is going to be the small palace. So we need that to go up a bit more. So I'm going to shift that to an oracle there. Run out of wine. The markets have wine. But the market lady's not walking up far enough. That is a bit annoying. Perhaps I put another market right here. That should help control desirability. Oh no. That's annoying. Okay. I did just save the game, so let's just speed through this a little bit. So that's now a medium palace. Okay, perfect. And that needs more desirability there. So this is... Wait, a medium palace is 3x3 three three as well? This next one has to be a 4x4. Four four. Great. Okay. 
that's now three by three. This road will continue like that. Needs more desirability. Okay. That's Grand Insule, we get rid of that. Needs more desirability. Just in case, I'm gonna do this for now. That is a small palace, needs more desirability. Come on. It only has access to two religions. Okay, that'll evolve soon. That's a grand villa. Perfect. This third market should help stabilize things. Medium palace needs more desirability. Okay. Maybe another... I can fill this with small statues. Does that help? Put a large statue there. Okay, okay, that works. That's a large palace. Okay, so we're just short one house. <laughs> we're just short one house. So this actually is a three by, I didn't realize all of these were three by threes. Medium palace. Wait, Grand Villa. Oh, we need to devolve this, right? So, someone said before I could use walls to downgrade desirability. So annoying. We need this to be a small palace. Come on. Really? Okay, the house will devolve soon. Okay, there we go. Small pass. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's save the game. So now, the only house we do not have is a luxury palace. Can I place wells until, instead of small stat? That's probably a good idea, but it's okay. <laughs> I just want this to work. Okay. So now, I think I need to move these forts. To fit everything we need. Right? But I just need money first. So let's wait until we... Try and make some money. There we go. There's some money. Okay. I'm gonna keep saving to make sure our city doesn't fall apart, which maybe the whole thing's falling apart. Maybe the experiment's over. <laughs> oh, I do have too many houses here. We can't feed everything. Let's cut back on some houses then. That means we're shot by employees though. So what I need to do is use up food here. Okay, that will solve that problem. Okay. I'm not too concerned about the rest of the gradient. So now we have money. I need to... I just... yeah, I just can't fit that final luxury palace. So I need to clear off these two forts. No, no. Sorry about this. Yes. Yes. And I'm gonna move the forts over to the other side. Okay. So then, I need to probably clear this stuff, clear that stuff, move that engineer's post there. 
We're gonna need a house. If I get rid of that, does this devolve? It might. Uh, so I'm just gonna replace those statues there. Have the house here. Control its evolution up to that side. Um, so we are going to have... One, two, three, four. Okay, we can't... We need this road to extend that way. So that we have the... I'm gonna maximize... how much room we have on this side because every little bit helps. Prefecture, engineer's post. That's gonna be there, so we definitely need an oracle there. Okay, we need lots of desirability here. So what did I get rid of? The entertainment, we need the uh, chariot maker and the lion house it's very close but we should be able to do it there is a market lady walking up there oh, of course this happens just after there We do have a blessing from Mars though, right? Maybe it'd be better to have a completely separate luxury palace area? Probably. Probably. Uh, these prefects going at it. Okay, time to fight. Spirit of Mars helps out. Okay, no problem. Very good. Military is not too much of a problem on this map. Okay. Right, it needs water. That's probably a good idea. Let me just save here. Let's get this house evolved. So these two markets down there just do not reach up there. We gotta wait for that one market. No local access to a barber. Oh, the barber doesn't reach. All right, I have the barber. What else do you not have? Okay, there's the large insulate. Uh, second type of food. So now that it's a large insulate, we can have it evolve up. So the fruit lady will come round the back. Then it needs a supply of wine. Okay, this third market is holding up. There we go. Now it needs... Oh, it needs hospital access. Wait, how does it not have hospital? <laughs> the hospital's right across the street. What? Okay, it's got hospital access. Oh, it doesn't have a clinic. That's what it's missing. Okay, clinic. Okay. Now it just needs desirability, so we can give it the space it needs. And Oracle. Very good. I'm gonna shift this prefecture over so that I can put an oracle here and an oracle there. It needs access to another temple so we can shift the doctor there. It does not have mercury so I'm just gonna throw down a Mars temple. Okay. 
evolving, evolving. Desirability. So we are going to have some space here. We can plaza up all of this. Not too far, because I don't want things evolving too much. Run out of wine, really? Good enough entertainment, but not enough variety. Okay, so what is it missing? Amphitheater? It doesn't have a theater. Okay, okay. It needs theater access. If I put a theater back here, it should be fine. Okay, then it's just desirability. Okay, can I fit a large statue right there? I can. I can just fill all these gaps with small statues. I don't know if that's able to reach. Okay, I can put a large statue back there. Not enough variety of entertainment. What are we missing? Entertainment. Theater. Entertainment. Amphitheater. Entertainment. Coliseum. Entertainment. Hippodrome. Is the the city... Is it because the city is short on entertainment ratings? It looks pretty good. Read the whole message again. This house cannot evolve as there is excellent entertainment to be found in the location, but the venues are too crowded or lack enough variety for the discerning patrician classes. Okay. That means the city does not have enough entertainment rating. on workers okay oh damn <laughs> okay that was enough but this evolved as well Come on. Uh, let's... Wells are bad, right? Let's put some ugly wells behind your house. Come on. Your house is surrounded by ugly wells. There's no way you still like it here. it so much. That's got to do it, right? But does it affect this? It affected this. Okay, maybe I can replace those small Yes? Is that stable? Guys. Guys. Every house in the game is now in this city. This is such a stupid idea. 
Oh no, that just evolved. Why? It ran out of wine. How did you run out of wine? We need to like a market up that side or something, but it's not exactly stable. Look, the market lady's walking up there. Please, just provide wine. There we go. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. So, now we can take a tour through everything. Uh, this place is just out of food. Jeez, I probably should not have done this. Food over there is doing okay. Um, how is our prosperity rating? It is being held back, yes. Okay. Um, to solve this food problem, I'm gonna have to destroy some houses. This is all not good. That will affect our employment quite significantly. So, to temporarily solve this issue... That's a terrible place to do that. Yeah, just, just right here is fine. Okay. And that would have evolved those. Yep. There we go. That will bring in more people as well. Are they all... Fine. That will solve our employment issue for now. But... <laughs> we've got... Small tents. Large tents. Small shacks. Large shacks. Some of these must be small hovels. Okay. There's a desirability issue here. Can we get these houses to devolve one step? These need to be small hovels. Okay, it's devolving. Small hovels. Why is this so delicate on the desirability? Is it gonna devolve again? It says it's gonna devolve again. Maybe just like... One garden? Is that enough? Okay, there we go. Small hovels. Large hovels, small casas, medium... Something happened to the large casas. Um, right, our entertainment value, okay. Um, we just... I just get rid of one side of the plaza. We gotta plaza it down. Why did those... Huh? Not sure what happened there. It actually went two steps higher than it should have. So let's try plaza it down on that side as well. What is going on? What? Okay. So now, look, these have to be large casas. Close enough, there's one large casa. <laughs> Small insulae, medium insulae, large insulae. And we ran out of fish for the Grand Insulae. Ugh. Oh. Well, if we stop exporting it, it'll probably be okay. Okay. But that was Grand Insulae. Okay. <laughs> Alright. This is pretty much an achievement. And what I'm gonna do right now, because I'm pretty sure you don't want to watch me fiddle around with the city until we win this map. From here on out, I'm going to just cut ahead to the end of me winning this map because it's just going to be fiddling, fiddling, fiddling. 
and uh, so hope you enjoyed the journey up so far to here um, but yeah we're gonna have to just figure out how to actually win the map now this is this is an absolute mess I do not recommend you do this but we'll be back with the victory of this mission Okay guys, so I had to cheat a little bit because this whole city design is absolutely terrible. I tried so hard to just get more Grand Insule over here, but I can't make it stable. This is so close to the invasion point. Ah, oh, this is just... I tried to... I got these to Grand Insule for a little bit. I tried producing more food, getting granaries over there. It's just... I don't know, this one market can't keep up and the wheat levels are just too low. Those are still Grand Insulets. The rest of the city is looking okay. We've got these at small hovels, large hovels. The Gradient City, for the most part, you can see we squeezed in more buildings here, more buildings here, trying to get our population up to 8,000. And it all went generally okay, but we just could not get the prosperity levels we needed. Culture was okay because I just dumped all of these schools and stuff around. You can see that. But... You know, had to cheat a little bit. See this? I just converted all of my villas and stuff into high-level luxury palaces. This one's a little bit stuck at large palace because the granary's right there. Just brought all the uh, the fruit over to this side, then gave them the space they needed. Extended a few things, and it's not very stable. It's not the things evolve, evolve, and all of that. But, but at this point, I just want to win the mission. So, the rest of the city is still a gradient. This is a bit of a, a peak over here, but I'm gonna speed up the game. And you will see probably some devolutions and revolutions here. And see our population is teetering on 8,000. It's teetering. Very, very teetering. You can see that last luxury palace up the top there. Struggling a little bit. Stormy seas, not a problem. I don't even know what's going on with the rest of the city. Because this city... It's so bad. It's so bad. Please do not do this. This is such a bad city. Oh. Oh. The Gradient City. Kind of an interesting idea, but it's not efficient at all. But hey, even doing that with a row of luxury palaces, all is possible. And there we go. The end of the peaceful campaign your place in history is assured the roman people declare you to be a god ah accept deity status Congratulations! You have achieved the highest goals ever set to one of Rome's governors. I am proud to hand over to you. I decree that you be crowned Caesar, Emperor of all Rome. The whole empire is yours. At last, I can retire to my island villa, a private citizen once again. May your name forever join the pantheon of Rome's greatest rulers. Hail Caesar! All right, well, there we go. That's the end of the peaceful campaign. But don't forget that this is not the final video in this series. The final for the military campaign is next. But there we go. You overcame every obstacle and adversary in every assignment, even when I myself bet against you. You know, you know I bet against myself quite often. None can deny your right to rule. I've asked the Senate to proclaim you a god. And... That's it. We're back to the main menu. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that was... Uh, oh, 
half of my my city designs in this playthrough are are so bad. Please do not do it. I'm not sure which is worse, the Gradient City or Frostmourne. And oh, remember Frostmourne block. But this is not the end. We've got the final of the military to go. So don't forget to check that out. But for now, that is the end of the peaceful campaign. A bit of a rocky, messy end, but that is the end. So, hope you all enjoyed yourself, thank you so much for joining, and I will see you in the next video.